Not only does a windy day cost you more for heating and cooling and really creating drafts go through your home, but testing a building on a windy day is really tough. So it's a windy day and Mal's trying to run an air tightness test. How are you going, Mal? Very difficult to get a stable reading yep. on a day like this. Uh, yep. We're struggling with the wind. When we're testing a building for air tightness, we're using pressure to detect how much air leakage is in occurring inside a building envelope. When wind is being blown onto a building, that wind is ultimately pressure and affects our equipment in capturing stable information of how airtight the building envelope is. So with an air tightness test, especially in negative pressure, we can force air out of all the gaps and holes within the building envelope to find issues, but also document where issues are. And then with that total airflow through the building envelope, we can then quantify how airtight a building envelope is represented either as an air change in hour value at 50 PA or a permeability rate, which is how leaky every square meter of the building envelope is. Now, when it comes to wind and how that affects how energy efficient a building or a home is, if the air is blowing in from the north, the south will go into a negative pressure Primarily, roofs can also go into a negative pressure. So these holes create a complete draft effect, sucking the conditioned air out of the home to the outside. So wind creates different pressures on different facades, east, west, north, south, and the roof. And these feeding pressures can add to considerable additional cost for heating and cooling and adding to a drafty home. So what we have shown here is we're capturing the pressure differentials on all four sides, five sides of this home. And we're showing how some parts of the building envelope go into positive pressure, some other parts going to negative. And this combination of pressures at the same time is where a lot of our conditioned, air conditioned air can go straight to the outside. When it comes to double story homes, on the top floor you get faster and cleaner winds acting on the building envelope. A lot of this air leakage can contribute and exacerbate significantly the air moving from the lower floors. The other thing that occurs in double story homes is a process called stack effect. And that's where the second story is always warmer than the, than the ground floor of the home. When you combine the effect of stack effect and wind effect, this further exacerbates how much energy you'll be paying for heating and cooling your home. 